We are attempting to do one of the craziest experiments we've ever done on this channel. The premise is extremely simple. We want to find out what would happen if an extremely handsome and accomplished man were to trade places with an obese and unattractive woman on Tinder. We're actually using Hinge for this video because it's a bit easier. Most people would claim that dating these days is getting harder and harder, men and women included. But we really wanted to put this concept to the test. So when deciding who to choose for the attractive male to be in this video, it was kind of a no-brainer. You guys know him very well. His name's Noah Boat. We're popping up some pictures here. Blatantly attractive, YouTuber, world-renowned, famous icon, sex symbol, video editor, six-figure plus income earner. Anything else that you think we could? Know that I like workout and shit. Like, I, like I, I can bench like 245. Gym enthusiast in extremely good shape. He is just the perfect image of an attractive man in today's society. And I almost forgot to mention, how tall are you? Six. Six two. Six two and some chain. I swear you're taller than six two. Six three with the right shoes. Six three with the right shoes. I swear. I think he's taller than that. So especially in comparison to the average male in the U.S., Noah is clearly far above average. We haven't started the experiment just yet, but Noah and I did collectively land on who we wanted to use as the girl for the experiment. We are gonna blur her face for confidentiality purposes, but let's get into it. Okay, so Noah, you just set up the profile. I officially am a woman and I'm ready to start dating. We decided on the participant and we're blurring the face for privacy. For privacy. I'm looking at some of the pictures. Shows like her with a car, like a lot of outside photos. You can see her in different outfits and a dress. Mm, obviously people can't see her face specifically because of the blur that we put on it. Just take my word for it. If people disagree that no, she's beautiful, everyone's beautiful, then click off the video. This is an experiment, I'm sorry. So to start, I didn't want to pick a girly name just because I didn't want it to just sound like a cliche girl's name. So I actually went a step further and typed in the most masculine female names. Okay. Dalen was one of the top ones that I saw on multiple websites. And I don't know if that's, that sounds closer to Daryl or Dalen. Yes, but Dalen is a name that I also have never heard of until I found it on a website. I wanted to throw in a curveball and say a life goal of mine is to find a new baby daddy. <sighs> Holy because shit. If you're a single man dating, I'll speak for myself, I wouldn't be interested in taking on a female that already has a child and a full responsibility because that's not what I'm here for. I wanted to make it as difficult as possible to maybe not even want to match with this person. Yeah, finding a new baby daddy is a great deterrent. Even that verbiage of new baby daddy, it's like, like holy new? shit. So your objective, you were trying to make this profile as unlikable as possible. That was the goal. The photos do the work for you. How much do you think she weighs? 250 minimum. I was going to say like two, 280. Two uh, close to three, but hopefully not three. Ooh. Almost looks like three to me. Numbers are just numbers, but it's looking like 285 three to me. Okay. That's gotta be three. My next prompt that I put public to my profile was the key to my heart is telling me that you'll provide for me and my son. Double whammy. <laughs> So not only am I looking for a new baby daddy. You gotta provide for her and the son. There's no way it's gonna be easy for me to get matched. Oh yeah, you're setting the odds up against yourself. Third prompt that I put, I said, do you agree or disagree that the women should stay at home and take care of the kids while you go get the bread? Mm, a traditional woman. Gotta love a traditional woman who's into traditional values. And then I'm looking at your, this bio here. Oh God, I'm seeing drinking, yes. Smoking, yes. Weed, yes. Pills, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about the state of the baby at this point. At least she's full-time mom. Didn't finish school. Spiritual. Originally from DC. Shout out DMV. Dalen's all set up. Dalen looks good to go. Let's reconvene tomorrow night and see what we can get going. I'm assuming you're gonna do some of the like power-ups just so that you can see all the like. Boost your profile. I think I'm gonna buy the little super tools. Okay, cool. Well, I'm wishing Dalen the best of luck. So in the video, we just said be back tomorrow or some shit. It's been like a week. I initially wanted to do this experiment for like three days, but I ended up doing it for about five or six days. So I was really shocked with what we're about to uncover off the bat. On day one, I got about five likes, five matches within one hour. Holy shit. Walk me through what you did. Yeah, so initially, Dalen didn't get any traction for about the first 30 minutes. I was getting a little impatient, so I started liking a bunch of men one by one by one. Quickly after about an hour, I got about five to 10 likes back because I already liked them. Wow, that's only after an hour. Now that's only 30 minutes. When you said you only waited 30 minutes, I wait sort of days and then we'll go back to my app and. And I'll be like, two. How many swipes were you doing a day? I literally did no more than about 20. <laughs>
I didn't even give it that much. I could have sat there and done 100, but I think it was after I did about 10 and I started getting a ratio of at least five back. I was like, oh, half the amount of people that I'm already trying to match with are matching right back. So I didn't even feel like I had to go crazy. We'll go through some of the likes first and then we'll go through the conversations I had. Okay, I've been waiting to see this. And here's what some of the guys look like. We'll blur their faces, but Francisco was feeling day. Wow, these are handsome kind of looking guys. That's what I'm saying. Jay, John, Z, Hunter, Edward. Okay, there's a few squares, there's but a couple. John's a bit of a square, but wow. But still, even like men of all different races, and I was like, interesting. Yeah, Asian, white, black. And you know, on Hinge, the prompts that I set up that I thought we'd potentially steer guys away from my profile actually made one of the dudes, he actually liked one of the prompts. The prompt where I said, one of my goals is to find a new baby daddy. E liked my answer. That is fucked. Bunkers. And I'll blur his face, but does this guy doesn't look like an ugly dude. He looks like a completely normal guy. He looks like a regular dude. Even the verbiage of new baby daddy. It's not not like looking for a man or looking for a, a strong father figure or something. It's new, new, because there was an old one, new baby daddy. I decided to send him a message. So you here to be my new baby daddy, question mark? He said, ha ha, we can see about that. What's up? I'm Emmanuel. Let's roll up and go see a view. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's roll up and go see a view. Catch a sunset and go from there. What's your number? Let's set it up. Wow. And I didn't respond because I was like, he's ready to, he's ready to go. Let's roll up and let's go see a view. Catch a sunset. You might as well catch a sunset and just go from there. Wow. Now I feel like there's gonna be some, I don't know if the term's contrarians, but there's gonna be people, well, men just like curvier women. And that's perfectly true. I think I'm just surprised that I would have looked at someone like her and thought she was. Yeah, I would have thought otherwise. If it was a, overweight, unattractive man. There's no way a girl is literally, what's your number, babe? What's your number, cutie? And I also think what you've done here is by saying new baby daddy, I drink, smoke, do pills, do drugs. This is goes beyond looks. You're talking about a girl with terrible values and no like- education, didn't finish school. Bratty, attitude, demanding. And by the way, look after my kid who I've had with another man. Someone who has nothing asking for everything and there are still- Yep, exactly. Guys ready to roll up and let's see where it goes. What the fuck? All right, so now we're on day two, and I had about three new conversations. The next guy reached out to me. He said, what's up? I said, hey, boo, you looking like my next baby daddy. Me trying to be a girl is the worst thing, because I don't know how they talk. Again, just trying to like put the baby daddy thing out there as much. He said, I might be. Where you at? Well, if you're going to be, in terms of the baby daddy, there is a lot you're going to have to handle. I'm in LA. What about you? New Jersey. Fly me out. <laughs> Ah, uh, boo. No, but you can fly yourself out and I'll pick you up from the airport. You pick me up from LAX, for real? Okay, I said, I'll send an Uber. He said, okay, bet. And then, what I can be where you at while I'm out there? Or you gonna make me get a hotel B&B type shit? Like that too? I don't know. You. Sir. What you mean by flip your tongue upside down though? I want to see what that feel like. You said English? I said, English? What? I... <laughs> When did I say anything about flipping? <laughs> Flip the tongue, sir, what? I think my man was just- Horny as yeah. fuck. He was willing to fly out to see you. I was like, English, question mark? Then he said- He kept going. He said, if I go to LA five days, can I stay with you? I said, maybe. I'll charge less than B&B, &B, so be nice. Let's say JK full price. Sorry, I'm a tease. And he said, what's pull price? I said, full and the whole. <laughs> so I would pay my flight and pay you to let me stay with you during my time? I said, yup. Oh, and that sounds like a terrible deal. It's the worst deal. He's gotta fly out and he's gotta pay to stay with me. Pay to stay with, okay. I said, yup. And then he said, LMAO, you fuck tweaking off the molly or something, no disrespect. And then goes, well, what's the price? <laughs> you tweaking off the molly or something, for real, no disrespect. But what's the price though? Wow. So I said, a hundred a night. No way. And then he's negotiate. He, he wants to negotiate back with me. 50 a night. Hmm, $50 a night. And you can do that thing with your tongue every night. Mike got a deal. <gasps> Oh my, I mean, it's really starting to be clear. Obviously this is a complete horn dog. Horny enough to catch a flight and pay hundreds and hundreds. I mean, we know this about men. A lot of men are horny savages, but I'm seeing it. I don't know how you felt messaging him. Uh, it was- Thing with it your was, tongue? Yeah, it was getting really weird. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? I said, hundred dollars a night. And you do that thing with your mouth every night where it stays quiet the whole time. Oh! <laughs> I was like, I was like, all right, he'd be a too horny. He said, that's fine. I'm not too much for talking anyway, for real. I thought we had some. You sound like you just playing and, and I stopped to respond. I thought we had some. <laughs> you didn't think you had some? Dudes be saying anything, bro. Do that thing with your mouth where it stays quiet the whole time. That's fine. I'm not too much of a taka anyway, for real. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Pretty outrageous. Let's give him a zero out of 10 on his approach. So the next conversation, I liked his photo. So then he messaged me. He said, you look good. You get that a lot, don't you? Hey, Dalen is somebody's type, is what yeah. I discovered. Yeah. And I said, yeah, all the time, actually. It's really nothing new to me. You're gonna tell me I'm pretty every day? And I don't think he responded to me after that. Mm, okay. So I do respect him for at least being like, I'm not gonna put up any bullshit with this. So respect. Respect to this guy. Um, Because my entire purpose was to make it as hard as possible to even wanna be with me. Yeah. And at least T uh, stepped away and said, yeah, f that. I'm not gonna respond to that girl. It's a multifaceted sort of little experiment where you get to see men interacting and how they respond to a girl like this. But it is pretty crazy seeing how men respond to a woman who disrespects them. That's like another part of this thing that I wasn't even thinking about. Like, yes, the appearance is like something that's mind blowing to me, but just the disrespect. I liked this light skinned brother's photo. He said, I know you'll suck my soul up out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's Noah behind the phone. Hey, Noah's in there. Okay. Okay. Like, come on, bro. Hinge, bro. On hinge. Did you think that was gonna work? Yeah, so I didn't really know how to respond to that one, so I kind of just left him on scene. I, I didn't even know what to say. I don't think, yeah, his approach there was even worthy of a response. <laughs> so now we're gonna go over day three as being Dalen on hinge. I liked 15 more guys the night before, and I got back about seven likes and two new conversations from this day, and ooh, these ones are pretty hilarious. Let's see. My brother Luke, he not only liked the photo of Dalen in her orange dress. You gotta admit, the orange dress was a bit of a showstopper. The orange dress was flames. If we're being fair, it probably was my favorite fit. <laughs> well, the King Von one is the one, that, that was my favorite, the King Von fit. I forgot about the King Von. So my guy Luke said, you are gorgeous, Dalen, hard eyes. Maybe you would give me the opportunity to gain your trust so I can spoil you and pet you sometime. Dreams, dot, dot, dot. Okay, right. so now I'm curious to know what you said in response to that. I said, hmm, what makes you worthy of petting me? And he goes, wow, I almost never get matches. Oh, oh my God, no way. Wow, I almost never get matches. And he doesn't look hideous. This guy is objectively not bad looking. He's extremely normal, regular ass dude. I said, well, today's your lucky day, I guess. He proceeded to send me a whole novel, worthy? Well, nothing yet. I have to impress you with my wits and charm and humor, making you laugh and then woo you with I don't even know yet. But thank you for the opportunity to learn about you. I'm not worthy yet. What the fuck? I just happened to be on Hinge at the same time as his total beauty was on. And I guess you somehow were able to read my message gushing over you. Is it more attractive to be in, to be an attractive woman on a dating app or even worse with a constant letdown? Oh my he God. There's a lot to unpack it here. It's almost too much to where it's like you're speechless. Worthy? Well, nothing yet. I have to impress you with my wits. I'm not worthy yet. Well, there goes his like normal looks. I can <laughs> see why he doesn't have much dating success. Wow, I almost never get matches. First off, brother man, don't admit that to the girl that you just matched with. Cause then she'd be like, well, bitch, what? If you never get matches, then I ain't matching with you. So he said all that shit and I go, oh damn, you messaged too much. <laughs> oh, I'll stop, sorry. I definitely messaged too much. I love texting. I said, little ick for me, but might be able to deal with it. It goes back to how much you'll end up satisfying me. I'm a tough one to satisfy. I don't know if you'll be able to handle it. And then he goes, I'm a family man and committed to them first. Most women can't put up with me. I'll save you your time. Thank you for showing attraction in me. It's flattering. I only have time for daily messaging, which is too ick for you, along with occasional dates when timing in both our lives permit and the value is high enough. I'm unfortunately not available enough to handle a high maintenance hottie right now in life. So he, he, he kind of stopped. It didn't really make sense. No shade to him, he might be on the spectrum. Cause what is that, bro? What are you talking about, bro? That was a lot, holy shit. So, we're on to another guy. This guy messaged me first. He goes, hey. I said, hey, question mark. That's all I get, Ugh. eyes roll. And he goes, what's up, you beautiful ass girl? I said, better. Now, how can I help you? You come on my messages for something? There's no way y'all have a conversation with your rude ass. Oh, Lord. He goes, came to see how you doing today. I'm good. Just went on a date with this guy from Tinder. It was all right. Oh, okay. Why? just all right. He just wasn't it. Talked way too much about himself and I like to talk about myself. So that was just an ick right away. Sheesh. That's rough. I say, yeah, it's a L. He was fine though. And we did fuck. So it's all good. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, you're definitely trying to make things not work. He goes, I'm fine. I like to listen. LMAO. Oh shit. I say, yeah. I mean, homeboy talked a lot, but the sex was crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you were wild and I had no clue yeah. you were doing all this shit on there. And he goes, bet you I fuck better. 
Bet you I fuck you better. I responded with, hmm, I don't know. You giving little dick energy. Holy shit. He goes, LMAO wild, you bugging out. I don't do too much talking. I don't do too much talking. I don't do too much talking. I say, you talking hello right now. <laughs> Why are you spamming me with the same line? <laughs> I was confused. Then he goes, oh shit, on God I didn't. I sent it once. What? Cap. I said, cap. I said, what I got a cap for? I said, cause that's you a capper. And then he just left me on red. So fast forward day four, I didn't get any new conversations, but I did get about an extra five likes, I would say. Day five, I got more conversations. Again, this guy that liked the orange dress. Holy shit, Dalen is on fire. He knew what the vibe was. He just liked the photo. I messaged first. Hmm, I like me a light skinned man who knows how to take care of his lady. Oh. Holy fuck. Damn, and you look like you could love me right too. I said, oh, I know how to take care of my man as long as he can provide for me. Then he goes to me. I said, how are you going to do that, boo? Hey, the light-skinned brother had some respect. Thank you. The light-skinned brother saving us. At the end of day five, I wasn't really getting any more matches. I figured, all right, time to use my little boost power. So I boosted my profile so it could get shown to as many people as possible. And that cost you? Shit, that was probably about 15 bucks. I did it like twice. And then within about 30 minutes, holy shit, they were just flying in. Milo. He said, how are you, beautiful? Blazy, Jamar, Shabab. Oh my Ryan, God. Daniel. Hey, David, I was in there. David, Cameron. It's fucking crazy. That's where I kind of figured I'm kind of done with this experiment. <laughs> After I boosted and I got that many, I was like, I can't entertain this anymore. This is the end. Wow. I don't think many girls can understand this. Wow. And we just proved it even as an overweight, less attractive girl. It's no different. This is still 50 to 60 likes. Doesn't that trump the amount that probably any average guy would ever really see. Yes. I mean, looking at your performance on a Hinge app versus this, it's not even close. They still get options. And then I switched my thing back to me. And I think the next two days, I was back at like two that were already there from three months ago. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> For the viewers, this isn't even us saying whether this is good or bad or whatever. We've just painted the picture of this is the reality. Looking at the attractive man versus unattractive woman, there's a crazy gap between women's dating lives and men. And I think it, the gap's widening. 80% of the men are getting nothing. So is there a solution? Is there a silver lining here? I think for men, looks maxing. If y'all look that up, dive into it. Looks max as much as you can on everything and cast a wide net. Yep. It's all you can do to sort of up your chances because it's only getting harder. Girls do just have it easier on the dating app. We officially proved that point. Subscribe. Subscribe, shout out to that orange dress.